you know, a game of a lot of missed opportunities. You know, go for three in the red zone, get no points out of the missed field goal, and get stopped twice on fourth downs. Um, you know, lose the turnover margin in a tough place to play against a team that, you know, has played really good when that quarterback plays. Credit to him. He's a really good player that made a lot of plays in the first half um, when we had him back there. So it's really disappointing the outcome. And um, obviously a lot was at stake, and uh, we didn't come through. So a lot of missed opportunities. So red zone chances, ball in our hand to, you know, score a touchdown, tie the game, and then go your way sometimes. Questions? What about the drop passes? Yeah, very, very unusual. Um, you know, I think somebody jinxed this week. I think somebody said Jordan's analytics were, you know, 100% catch, catch percentage. Um, and as soon as they said that, I said, I wish you wouldn't have said that. So, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know if that corner, when you look up, that's where that sun's at coming that direction. But, I mean, that's a great, great play by Jackson. Great throw. I obviously wish it would have been caught because, you know, we might be sitting here with a much different storyline of, you know, a great game by Jackson. And now we came up, overcame adversity um, in a tough place to play. We saw a lot of Mikey, uh, Mikey Davis back there running the ball. Can you just take us through that? Just trying to get a spark back there, um, you know, with some speed. And uh, we hadn't had a lot of uh, success in the run game, you know, last about month. So um, just tried something different. Late on that deep ball, too, so that was a pick up the first interception. Was that where Dart, Dart was supposed to go? I guess where we kind of see on that play? Yeah, very unusual by him. Um, you know, obviously, wish he'd take it back. You know, just completely unusual that he would throw that ball in that situation. And, you know, she's really good at that. And, you know, said to him right before, you know, this is, we don't, we got plenty of time here. We don't need to take shots. And, um, you know, he went very aggressive on it. And um, so, I okay, made a lot of really good plays today. And again, I wish we would have caught the one because we might have a much different storyline right now. I know that Ms. George kicked over most of the times today. We went far over JJ and so on. Just what were you seeing and what were you feeling? Yeah, I, I think that those were probably analytic, pretty easy decisions, you know, that instead of getting field goals there when, you know, it's less than two yards, um, JJ's percentage coming in had been great in those situations. Made some other short yardage ones today. Um, you know, so. It is what it is when you know you play that way, and um, he's made a lot of those plays too. The wins this year were, were blowouts. The losses obviously came in mm. three close games. Is, is there a common thread that you can identify, <coughs> kind of linking the losses, or maybe explaining why that might be that close games aren't going to see play? Um, I mean, it's football. It happens, you know. Um, the year before, all the most close, it was the opposite, right? All the close ones went our way. Um, so um, sometimes the ball bounced that way. Sometimes, you know, when you got opportunities to to make plays or situations, um, I mean, that's a pretty easy story. On our two for two in the red zone, we're zero for three. Um, we outgained them by 100 yards, but they win they win the turnover margin. So again. Shows how relevant yard, yards are versus scoring in the red zone and turnovers. Lane, I know this is fresh, but you know how tough do you foresee kind of the next week being you know, up until this Mississippi State as far as holding the team together and all that, especially after having a third loss? Yeah, I mean we're, we're just in today. This is going to be really challenging. Um, it's just the day, so I ain't got to tomorrow yet. You know, there's a lot at stake here and a lot of disappointed. Uh, players, coaches in that locker room. Um, and this is the new age setup. You know, when kind of there's the playoff line, you kind of know where that is a little bit, and third loss doesn't get you there. So um, it's just a different, different world, almost NFL ish. You know, um, when you get knocked out of the playoffs, you still got a game to play, but obviously this is an important game. Um, but we'll get that tomorrow.
Would you Ole Miss head coach Lane Kiffin speaking after their loss to Florida 24-17. Ole Miss will go to Mississippi State to finish the regular season and we'll see what the playoff committee says about this loss. They were sitting at 12 in the bracket coming into the week. So you'd have to think they'll be on the outside looking in. Lane Kiffin referred to the fact that they struggled in the red zone. Three red zone drives resulting in zero points. Two of them turnovers on downs.